Hello my fellow spooky polish lovers. I have a new video for you all today. This one is for the September Little Box of Horrors. The theme for September is all things Halloween. Okay, this box launches uh, this Saturday, September 18th on the Little Box of Horrors website, which I will have linked down below. If you are new and do not know anything about this one, this is a bi-monthly collaboration for each sale period. Everything is based off of either horror, sci-fi, or mysteries. As always, links and sale details will be in the description box, and let's just get into this video. First up is BCB Lacquers with Swamp Witch. This one is inspired by Swamp Witches and Magic. This one is described as an emerald green polish with a blue-green-gold color shift as well as holographic. It's priced at $13 and has a cap of 150 bottles. This polish had a really great formula. Brittany always knows how to do in a very opaque shimmer polish. I could see this one potentially being a one coater if you go in for thicker coats than I did here. I'm going to show this one in two coats. I found in person the emerald. This is definitely an emerald base and that shimmer kind of gives it a greenish bluish kind of look depending on how you're seeing the shimmer. This polish is extremely pigmented, so I would highly recommend wearing a base coat with this polish to prevent staining. I did not personally experience any staining. Next up is Lin B Designs with Practicing Dark Arts and Crafts. This one is inspired by the internet's obsession with cats and Halloween, and it's described as a deep blue to purple to pink shifting base with a pink magnetic pull and added hollow shimmer. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a fantastic formula. As you can see here, it is very opaque. So on my other nails, I did show this one magnetized. On my middle nail, it is not magnetized. This one is very color shifty. I was mainly seeing the blue to purple kind of shift on the nail. I found the magnetic um, shimmer in this one is like a very light pink that almost looks silver. This polish is also extremely holographic in the sun polish is potentially a one coater if you go in for a thicker coat. I am showing it in two coats. Nothing in here will dry down textured or will be difficult to remove. Longer nails might potentially want to go in for three coats. First up we have my indie polish with the leaves are not dying. This one is inspired by Tanya's love for the color changes of the season. This polish is described as a brown crelly base with a beautiful pink to red to gold shimmer. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 50 bottles. This polish is fall in a bottle. It is so beautiful. This has a fantastic formula. It did start off on the more sheer side, so I think this one will be best built up in three coats. The shimmer looks so amazing in this base. I was seeing all of the described colors in person. I was also seeing a shade, like a greenish type of shade in there as well. I had a really hard time getting photographs for this polish, so I'm really glad I was able to get live swatches for it. I do want to note that um, brown polishes on me in my indoor lighting tend to lean very um, reddish and outside they tend to lean a bit more golden. I found in the bottle this was like a light chocolatey brown type of shade. Nothing in here will dry down textured or will be difficult to remove and I did not experience any staining. Next up we have Night Owl Lacquer with Eerie Light. This one is inspired by Halloween light displays and is described as a neon yellow green filled with a purple to pink to gold to green aurora shimmer. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a beautiful crelly like formula. It was slightly on the thicker side but it did not feel overly thick at all. This polish is bright. This is a super bright neon shade, so this one will glow under black light. I found the Aurora Shimmer gives it a really glowy, beautiful look on the nail, and you do not see any brush strokes through that shimmer. I think this polish is going to be a solid three-coater, to be honest. Um, you get pretty good coverage in two coats, but it was just a little bit patchy. I found that third coat evens out any um, unevenness in the base color. I feel like this polish is going to be really fun for some Halloween nail art. I don't know, there's something about neon colors and Halloween nail art that just does something for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, for the shimmer, by the way, um, I was definitely seeing the different colors in the shimmer, but it wasn't a super bam in your face. It was more like an inner glow type of thing. And that is everything for the Little Box of Horror shop for September. Um, of course, there are going to be a ton more things than I have shown just today. This is just like a small sampling. So this box goes live on the 18th. Um, I will have all of the links and details and all that kind of stuff down in the description box. I hope you all have, all have a wonderful day. 
and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye!